yeah hi guys if you are viewing my channel first time please subscribe for other updates on machine learning this is a machine learning classification machine learning is divided into the supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning again supervised learning further divided into the regression and classification okay today we will mainly discuss about on the logistic regression okay this linear regression already we discussed in the previous session this link i will attach into the description okay right now we'll see the difference between the linear regression and logistic regression this is my x is my independent variable y is my dependent variable this is my prediction formula for the linear regression y equal to mx plus c here x and y both are the continuous nature then only we can apply this linear regression okay in case of logistic regression okay x is my independent variable always continuous dependent variable is always discrete okay here we are using a sigmoid function for the prediction my sigmoid function equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of minus z for example if my threshold is 0.5 greater than 0.5 we are predicting with 1 less than 0.5 we are predicting with 0 okay similar way for the minus infinity we are predicting with 0 plus infinity we are predicting with 1 okay based on the threshold we are trying to define whether it is uh, logic 0 or logic 1 here the always the prediction is binary or the categorical information so that we can use the logistic regression categorical means true or false and yes or no or male or female or binary 0 or 1 for example in this case we can use the logistic regression if the prediction is binary or categorical information we can use the logistic regression if it is always continuous in the prediction so that we can use the linear regression Okay, this is a simple linear regression for the uh, linear regression y equal to mx plus c and for the multiple linear regression means for the multiple independent variable one dependent variable this is the equation y equal to c plus m1 x1 plus m2 x2 and so on okay here the similar way we need to see the relationship between the linear and logistic in the uh, equation here okay to get the range of y between 0 to infinity I am changing the equation to y divided by 1 minus y. The y equal to 0, 0 divided by 1 minus 0, that means 0 divided by 1 means 0. Next, y equal to 1, 1 divided by 1 minus 1 means 1 divided by 0, this, this is infinity. Okay, I got the range between 0 to infinity. Okay, to get the range of y between minus infinity to plus infinity, we need to apply the log, log to the above expression. Log of y divided by y minus 1. Okay, here uh, y equal to 0 log of 0 divided by 1 minus 0. That means log 0 equal to minus infinity log of 0. y equal to 1 log of 1 divided by 1 minus 1. That means log of 1 divided by 0 is infinity. Log of infinity is infinity. Okay, here this is also equal to the our linear regression uh, y range between minus infinity to plus infinity. That's why I am equating to the mx plus c. Okay, right now I am applying the exponential to the left and right. Okay, to get the sigmoid function. Okay, that's why I am applying the exponential function to the left and right. So that this exponential and log will be cancelled due to the inverse uh, functionality of the log and uh, exponential. Okay, now I will get the uh, y divided by 1 minus y equal to exponential of mx plus c. Okay, if I solve this equation, y equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of minus this is the mx plus c is my linear equation okay this is my uh, prediction of my uh, logistic regression this is a simple logistic regression in this contains only one independent variable this means 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of minus here i am mentioning the simple linear regression equation so that we will get the logistic regression output okay similar way i am uh, mentioning for the multiple logistic regression 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of minus here i am mentioning the multiple linear regression so that we'll get the multiple logistic regression okay this is the mainly uh, relationship between the linear regression and logistic regression okay now we'll see the how to implement this logistic regression how to uh, train the model and how to test the model we'll discuss using the data set okay here i have the uh, data set contains five columns Okay, the prediction can be binary or the categorical that's why i have taken the two columns okay if it is one i am taking the s if it is zero i am taking the no for the all the column uh, it contains five columns and 40 rows 
okay i am dividing into the two sets one is a train set and another is a test set okay here uh, 75 percent of the data i am using to train the algorithm only 25 percent of the data i am using to test the algorithm 25 percent means 10 rows 30 rows i am using for the train the algorithm if it is x column i need to represent with x train if it is y column y train similar way if it is x column x test and y test okay to train the model we need to pass this uh, x train and y train to train the data train the model and uh, to test the model we need to pass the x test we'll get the y prediction okay once the training is done we need to pass our x test then we'll get the y prediction then we need to calculate the accuracy of our model how much uh, what is the actual data what is my prediction data then we'll calculate the accuracy how much our model is efficient okay here uh, first we'll uh, discuss how we can practically execute and how, how we can predict the data okay here i have the one data set the same data set i'm trying to access using the pandas import pandas is my library as pandas this is the alias name i am trying to access my one of the method in the pandas read csv this is my alias name dot read csv and i am using this method i am accessing the complete uh, excel data whatever the admin uh, dot csv okay it contains five columns and uh, 40 rows the data frame dot head it will display the first five records and all the columns it will display okay right now i am trying to choose my x value Okay, x is my what is my x value gmat gp and work experience what is my y value is uh, admin uh, bin okay binary i am taking the binary the prediction can be binary or the categorical okay first now i am predicting with, uh, with my data with binary okay right now i am trying to predict my data with binary that's why my uh, my y value is admin okay if i display the x and y okay x contains 40 rows and four columns three columns gmat gp and work experience y contain admin binary okay now i am i am planning to train my model using the sklearn okay this is my x sklearn all the files all the imports uh, we need to do okay before uh, uh, doing the training and test and this is a uh, for the plotting the algorithm we need seaborn and mat plot okay here i am creating my object logistic regression i am accessing the logistic regression class okay here we are using the train and test split this is a method in the sklearn it will split the data accordingly what i have mentioned right the train x train and y train and x test and y test similarly it will divide as per the test size i mentioned 75 this is 70 as uh, 25 percent test size is 25 percent and train size is 75 percent okay similar way i have mentioned here test size is 25 percent that means only 10 rows and uh, train size is 75 percent that means 30 rows here the random state should be mentioned otherwise every time our prediction will change okay here i got the x test and x uh, x train and x test y train and y test okay now i am trying to fit my model for example to train the model we need to call this function this is the object i have created law uh, logistic regression dot method i am calling to the fit with uh, x train and y train okay here i am passing to the method of fit to the x and y train x train and y train okay my training is done for my uh, logistic regression model okay now i am trying to predict my model using the predict uh, method okay the same class i am using it here i am trying to call to the predict model i will i am just passing to the x test okay here i am passing to the x test the training is over using the x train and y train now i am predicting my model using the x test okay to the predict model i am passing to the x test i got the y prediction okay now i got the y prediction this much okay now i can predict uh, for our model how much efficiency is okay i'm first we need to calculate the uh, confusion matrix in this uh, logistic regression okay here this is a pandas is a one of the method is cross tab okay we need to pass the y test and y prediction this and this we need to pass to the cross tab uh, function okay it will display the we will get the confusion matrix and what and all the uh, what and all the predictions and actuals are correct what and all the uh, predictions and actuals are wrong okay, okay we'll get in the confusion matrix this is a seaborn package i'm using dot heat map i'm displaying what and all the uh, confusion matrix here okay here actual is zero i'm predicting also zero okay these are the uh, correct predictions 
for example if the actually is 1 I am predicting also 1 this is also correct for example this is actually 0 for example here okay actually is 1 I am predicting with 0 this is the wrong and for example this is actually 0 I am predicting with 1 this is also wrong okay only the 3 and 4 only 7 predictions are correct out of 10 predictions okay this is the my model efficiency is 70 percent okay by using the confusion matrix we are mentioning uh, the, the, these two blocks are correct and these two blocks are wrong in this case prediction okay I am trying to represent my y test and y prediction here we can see 0 and 1 okay it is a uh, wrong prediction it is uh, actually is 1 this is a test my uh, this is my actual data this is my prediction data okay 0 I predicted with 1 this is a 1 wrong this is a 1 I am predicting with 0 this is a 1 I predicted also 1 this is a 0 I predicted as 1 and uh, the next one is 0 I predicted as 0 the, uh, from here onwards all are the correct okay only three predictions are the wrong and all other predictions are correct okay in this case I got the accuracy of our uh, logistic uh, regression only 70 percentage 7 by 10 I got the 70 percentage using this uh, accuracy score again we need to pass the y test and y prediction then we'll get the accuracy score of our model okay similar way here I predicted using the binary information okay similar way I want to predict my model using the categorical information okay here I am taking the categorical column okay in this column I am taking the categorical this is my y in the second uh, example I am taking this is my y and this is my x I am taking okay similar way I have taken here gmat gp and work experience I am taken to x and other one I taken to y okay I am displaying all the x and uh, what is the x and what is the y here gmat gp work experience all the 40 rows and 3 columns and y contains only the categorical information the admin categorical information if I see the y value always s or no it's as it is our data okay uh, right now in the second uh, uh, second prediction I am trying to predict with my categorical information that's why I am taking my y as categorical data okay now I am just using the same method uh, train and split the data I am passing my x and y my categorical data I am passing similar way I am dividing the same way 25% of the test data 75% of the train data I got the train x train x test y train and y test okay now I am I am trying to access my object uh, my class using the object this is my object dot fit I am just passing the same data x train and y train x train and y train my training is done using this uh, method now I am trying to predict the uh, same object I am calling the predict uh, method I am trying to predict my data using the x test okay I passed the uh, prediction method to the x test I got the y prediction now we can calculate the uh, accuracy for the for our model okay here we are using the cross tab will uh, we are trying to represent the confusion matrix what are all the correct predictions what are all the wrong predictions for example actually it is no we are predicted also no this is a correct actually is yes we predicted also yes okay these two are correct correct predictions for example this is actually one but predicted no okay this is also wrong for example this is actually no and we predicted are yes okay this is also wrong only 7 by 10 uh, we got the prediction even if you see here 0.7 percentage okay here just I am uh, displaying it here y test and y prediction what is the actual data I am displaying here and also y prediction also I am displaying it here okay here no my prediction was yes yes no wrong and here yes here also predicted yes here is no I predicted is yes total 3 are wrong 2 1 3 are wrong remaining all are 7 are correct okay here I am just displaying my score same okay here in the final conclusion in the logistic regression we can also predict the binary data and also categorical information uh, that's all friends thank you for watching